I'm modeling the transition period, uh, early diesel, late steam period. The layout I started um, back in the late 80s, uh, it started out as a article out of an MR and it met a certain amount of criteria that I wanted in my next layout because this is actually my second layout that I built and uh, it's I wanted um, a switchback uh, logging type railroad and so I, I started with the basic plan I expanded it uh, a couple feet each way if I look at the major construction over the years um, I started out with phase one that was basically the plan out of the MR and then I, I looked at the basement and said well I can bring something around the corner here and I always wanted a, a well I had a uh, the roundhouse and turntable for my old layout and I wanted to incorporate that in some way so I brought the layout up and I had I raised it a little bit in elevation and did that section and then I got with a switchback really it's, it's fine and in, in an idea but to operate it I, I like to watch trains running through scenes so I incorporated the tails of two of the switchback legs and made a, a reverse loop or not a reverse loop but a continuous loop out of those so I could run that and that was basically phase three. Now, on the first few phases, first three phases basically, I used Code 100 Atlas. I was very happy with it. I did incorporate a few Pico turnouts to fit situations. Um, the last phase, the engine facility, um, I used Code 83 Atlas trackage on that. If I was to do it all over again, I think that would be the track that I would use on everything. And then phase four was um, after accumulating uh, locomotives and over the years, uh, I wanted to have a larger expanded engine facility that I had, but I really didn't have room in this room, so I punched through the wall and designed a layout on the other side of the basement. I am, um, you know, I, I have dreams of expanding more in the other side, but Technically, um, the, the layout of the side, I don't think it's very conducive to layout. I got doors that I'd have to trans or get by and windows and whatnot, but I'm happy with what I have. I use a uh, NCE uh, DCC system. Well, when DCC first came out, it was sort of in this area of Grand Rapids. The club had it. Uh, Bruce Chubb, with I did a lot of work on his layout, had it, and it was just to me was a natural step to go into something that I was familiar with already. Well, I have quite a few uh, sound locomotives, both steam and diesel. I have a few of the structures are lit. I have uh, some street lighting on the layout, boulevard lighting. I guess my favorite uh, part of the layout would be the branch line engine facility. Uh, I built a, a scratch built a engine house and uh, I was able to incorporate the Shea that I had built when they first came out years ago, the old MDC Shea. And um, you know, it's just a place where I think if I would to be, that's where I would like to be.